let's learn how to center objects in Illustrator in this very simple tutorial. So onto my blank canvas, I'm going to just draw out a simple shape. I'm going to use the ellipse tool and I'm going to draw out an ellipse and select it with the selection tool. So when I'm ready to center this object, I want to go to window and align and you'll probably find this in your right hand bar as well, but if you can't find it, go to window align. I'm going to pull out the align bar just so we can see everything. Under my align to section, I'm going to go to align to artboard and then I'm going to select horizontal align and vertical align. So now I can take one object and align it to the center of the artboard. If I've got two or more objects, let's just create a duplicate of this. I've got more options to play with them. I'm going to highlight these two. Now I can either align them to selection where they will align together. I can also select a key object to align to. So for example, if I select this one here, you'll see the blue path that appears around it. If I now select horizontal align, you can see it will align the other one to the key object. And again, I can do it with horizontal and vertical. And then finally, then if I want to align both of these to the artboard, if I highlight them both. Now, if I come to align to artboard, if I don't group these together, what will happen is it will take the individual objects, as you can see, and align them like that. So if I want to keep this composition the same and align these two objects as they are, I need to highlight them both, right click, group, and then align to artboard and apply the horizontal and vertical align to get them in the composition that I want. And then when I'm happy with that, then I can simply right click and ungroup them. So there you have it. It's very, very simple to center objects in Illustrator using the align panel. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you found it helpful. If you like this channel, like the video, please subscribe, turn on notifications, give the video a thumbs up and let me know of any problems or tutorials you'd like to see in this channel in the near future. And until next time, keep designing and I'll see you for the next tutorial.